Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you what to do when the Lenovo Flex 5 touchscreen driver is not working. Lenovo is a popular company that develops a wide range of technologies, including touchscreen-based devices such as the Lenovo Flex 5. But despite this popularity, sometimes users reported that their Lenovo Flex 5 touchscreen driver is not working, and the causes can vary from an outdated operating system to incorrect recalibration settings of the touchscreen. So let's take a look at how to solve this issue in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution is checking for Windows Update. You can do that by clicking the Start button in the lower left corner and then writing Settings. Then click the Settings option. Now navigate to Update and Security section. There you have to click Check for Updates button. Windows will now check for available updates. If any updates are available, they will be downloaded automatically in the background. Once you downloaded the updates, they will be installed as soon as you restart your PC. You can also use Device Manager. To do that, just click the Start button in the lower left corner and simply type Device Manager. Then click on Device Manager. In the Device Manager window, just expand Human Interface Devices then right click on the HID compliant touchscreen or HID compliant device, then click on disable device. When the following question appears, do you really want to disable it, select yes and repeat the above steps for all the related drivers. Afterwards, restart your PC, then choose the enable option to bring the touch back. Another useful solution is rolling the driver back to a previous version. To start with, Click the search button in the lower left corner and type run. Once you open the run window, type the following command. R-S-T-R-U-I. Then click OK to launch System Restore. Select the Choose a different restore point option if there's a recommended restore point. Then select the next option to continue. To see a full list of restore points, click the Show more restore points checkbox. If you're not sure what date to choose, just make sure to choose the oldest restore point you can. Press the next button to proceed to restore point confirmation and click finish to confirm your selected restore point and initiate the Windows restoration process. And another useful solution is recalibrating the screen for touch input. To do that, just click the start button in the lower left corner and simply type control panel. Then click on control panel. In the control panel window, just select hardware and sound and then in the tablet PC settings category, just click on calibrate the screen for pen or touch input. In the following window, make sure that display is selected in the upper options and then click on calibrate. Then you just have to follow the steps shown on your screen and the touch should start working properly. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.